Hi there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you something, namely this thing, which you've probably never heard of, but you really should check out. Now, this is the Litheli, as I pronounce it, or Litheli, which some other people pronounce it. Litheli Eclair 1000 battery pack. And as you can see, it's pretty big, but it has a hell of a lot of features. And this has been designed with numerous things in mind. This is a fast charge, high capacity, packed with features sort of unit. And it's reassuringly heavy. Now, I don't just accept anything to review. I like things that are, in my view, genuinely useful. And this. When it arrived, it came with no instructions, nothing. I just kind of had to work out everything myself. And as I was working it out, I was thinking, that's useful, that's good, that's good. My God, this thing charges fast. These are really useful, and I shall explain that now. These two things here, which pop out, doing this blind, are battery packs. And these are going to be used in the next generation of Litheli or Litheli's garden implements, which include a hedge cutter, a strimmer, and also a lawnmower. Now I've looked up the little strimmer that they do, and it looks really, really good, but presently it's only available in the US on pre-order, just as this thing is. This thing is currently on Indiegogo and there might only be a couple of days left on it to get a really, really good deal on it when you're watching this video. If you can get an early bird deal on Indiegogo, that makes it exceptional value. Now these things will go into the strimmers, into the hedge cutters, and also into the lawnmowers that Litheli are gonna produce. And as soon as the strimmer becomes available on Amazon, or anywhere in the UK, or even from China, I will be ordering one because I need a little strimmer just to go around the detailed edges of my lawn. I've got a big double-handed strimmer which takes a blade. My little strimmer is knackered, so I do need a battery strimmer. These will go into the battery strimmer and allow me to do all the little detailing work. So I'm looking forward to that becoming available. And to recharge these batteries, all we do is just slot them in here. One, two, and they charge up. They're fully charged at the minute. In fact, this whole unit is fully charged because when, as soon as I got it, I plugged this in and I charged it. And it was on 62% power when we first got it. And I think it, God, it must have only taken 20, 25 minutes to get up to 100%. It takes less than an hour to fully charge this whole unit from zero to 100%. But the input is 1300 watts. So that's like a massive kick to this. It charges ridiculously fast. Unfortunately, at present, this is only available in the US sort of outlets and plugs sockets and all that sort of thing but i do have numerous converters step up step down transformers all that sort of thing so i can use this oh and using this fella which i'll put the link to in the video description as i shall with this and using that in a standard uk socket plugged into here to the US socket, I was able to charge this fella up very, very quickly. So it stepped it down from 240 to 110, it fed into here at 1300 watts, and it charged this up so damn quick. It, it, you'd be shocked at how quickly it charges. So I'd better tell you what inputs and outputs it's got. Now as far as the inputs go, it's got one here, which is currently connected to my step down transformer to allow me to charge it at fast charge. Just take that out. 
comes with a connector which will allow you to plug this into the tab lighter or cigarette lighter of your car and plug it in from there that goes in there unfortunately that input isn't a standard Anderson input from a solar panel so as far as I can gather you're kind of limited to charging it from the mains or charging it from a car or camper van or something like that I mean because it's a fast charge high capacity unit that's kind of understandable but basically what you've got is a reset switch here for if it ever gets overloaded you've got your mains input here which is like 1300 watts which is absolutely crazy this thing charges lightning speed and then you've got the attachment there which will go to your car I would have loved to have seen a standard Anderson socket there but I'm sure you could get some sort of converter that would allow it to fit into either of these I haven't looked on this end you've got four outlets for your standard US plugs a converter like a travel plug for US sockets so if I plug that into there take a UK plug into here run it through my converter I can boost the voltage up from 110 to 240 so I can use this thing in the UK obviously when it becomes available there will be UK versions of it turn it round I'll just say that these vents here have a fan on the other side of there and that's replicated on the other side and when the fans running it's ridiculously quiet some of these battery packs that I have you can barely hear yourself think when the fan comes on but this is really really quiet huge bonus I would imagine if you were in a, like a tent or a camper van or something and you had a fan going all the time when you were feeding power out of it you would want it as quiet as possible this one is literally whisper quiet I don't know how many decibels it is there's no sort of rating on it on online I have looked but it, it's barely noticeable really this side of it we have numerous outlets we've got type C outlets here standard USBs two DC outlets and your cigarette lighter tab lighter sort of thing your two removable batteries each of which is approximately 74 watt hours or 2000 no sorry 20,000 milliamps so that is a reasonable capacity again it's reassuringly heavy and it has a USB outlet and a type C outlet so basically if you're in a grid down situation you have this to power your TV or fridge or whatever it is you want to power and you can give these to the kids and say look charge your phone up with that use your Nintendo switch power your laptop whatever you want to do there you go take it away to your bedroom or if you're in a non grid down situation you can take these out and power your garden tools with them which will be coming and as I say I will be definitely buying the strimmer because that will be useful to me top here we've got a fast charge wireless pad and that's rated up to 80 watts so if you have a laptop or a tablet or indeed a phone which is capable of fast charging put it on here and it will charge wirelessly unfortunately my phone is so old and so backward my phone won't charge on here but when my son was recently visiting from university I said look your phone is a little bit less old than mine why don't you put your phone on here see if it charges put it on boop, started charging straight away it wasn't a problem I've tried to enable fast charging on my phone uh, unfortunately it's too old it's not capable of fast charging wirelessly so modern phones modern tablets I would imagine some sort of laptops as well possibly may fast charge on the top of there that's a nice feature because often that space is just wasted to the facts and figures on this thing 
It's called Litheli Power Hub Eclair 1000. It doesn't actually retain 1000 watt hours of power. I think it's approximately 921, but you've got 74 and 74. So in reality, it is over 1000. The inlets and outlets go. You've got two USB C's rated for 20 watts between 5 and 9 volts. You have two USB C outlets rated at 100 watts between 5 and 20 volts. You have two standard USB outlets, actually USB A outlets, rated at 18 watts. You have two 12 volt DC connectors and they are DC 5521. That means nothing. That doesn't mean much to me. In fact, most of these figures don't mean much to me. But anybody who's really interested in buying one of these things probably wants to know exactly what you're going to get, you know. On the top, I have to confess, I have never heard of a Pogo charger. <laughs> That's just like a wireless charger. You have one 80 watt charger up on there. You have one 12 volt car outlet. It's just like a standard tab lighter sort of thing. The battery in here is lithium ion phosphate and it's good for 3000 plus charge cycles. So that is going to last you a hell of a long time. On this, after it's gone through the launch on Indiegogo and it becomes available for retail sale like all over the world, is only $900, which for a 1000 watt hour unit even without all these features is pretty good normally you'd pay roughly one pound one english pound or one us dollar per watt so if you had a thousand watt unit you'd be looking to pay roughly a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars for something that was quality early bird deals if you watch this video early enough if you haven't watched this video early enough there still might be deals available as it progresses and hopefully as it becomes available on Amazon I will put necessary links in the video description if I see it available removable batteries here are rated at 74 watt hours and 45 watts output maximum each for most of the garden implements that Lothelli are producing or will soon produce they require two of those batteries and that's probably why you've got two charging sockets here uh, as an example if somebody wants that in milliamp hours which would tend to relate to like little phone chargers and you know battery backups that you would have and like heated vests and all that sort of thing if you used one of these batteries with a five volt output it would be equivalent to 14,800 milliamp hours. If you used it at 20 volts, which is the maximum, or near the maximum output, it would be rated for 3,700 milliamp hours. Again, these figures don't mean much to me, but they might mean something to you guys. Now the charging input, it will take up to 1,300 watts to charge it, which is absolutely beastly I mean that's just like that's it's like forcing 10 pounds of crap into a five pound bag it's just blasting it in there you know and it will fully charge this from zero to 100 percent in less than an hour uh, in a situation where the electrics going on and off and on and off in your house you know you've reached some sort of like pre-apocalyptic sort of scenario <laughs> As soon as the electric comes on, just charge this bugger up, get it fully charged, and it will last you for ages, you know. It will charge really quick. And as far as the output goes, even if you have everything connected and, you know, loads of things drawn from this, it will support 1800 watts AC maximum output, which is, quite frankly, huge. Oh, yeah! Yeah, so there you go. Really, I have kind of rushed this video out. I've only had this a few days, but I wanted to show you guys because 
the Indiegogo campaign does close in a few days. If you're interested in this, I wanted you to get a good deal on it. I will crash this video out quite quickly, considering this only arrived a few days ago. Ideally, I don't like to do that. But if anybody is interested in this, check out the Indiegogo link in the video description. Hopefully, it will still be available on early bird deals. Early bird, early bird deals. Um, even if it isn't, if this was full retail at $900, that would be a hell of a price, especially if you had some garden implements that you could use with these batteries. Uh, it's, it's a really good unit. That's what I think so far. I will do update videos or an update video in a week or two, just to let you know how I've got on with it, because I will be testing it. The power company has told me that there is going to be a grid down situation in three, four days time. The electric's going to be off all day. I will be testing all my battery packs during that time. Thanks for watching. See you later. Check out the links in the video description.